you, when you're in New York, you you wrote a pamphlet called "How to Attack the Newspaper Use of the Word Jab." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and you wrote a long sample case history of how to do it. Yeah, yeah. Can you tell us, just in brief, how, how did you get? Uh, why did you launch that campaign uh, in New York? And how did you how did you get them to stop using the word jab in newspapers? Well, I got. Uh, well, you know, as Standard & Poor's was one unit, was a, a newspaper guild unit representing the Standard & Poor's group. And uh, so in time they, they came, they asked me if I would serve as an alternate delegate to the monthly meeting of the guild organization of the representative representing the guild and uh, when they asked me if I would become a, an alternate delegate I thought well I might, might as well so I did and when I went to those those meetings as an alternate delegate I learned that the guild had a provision already enacted, uh, stating themselves to be against the use of derogatory epithets in uh, American publications. So I asked them, well, well, how about the word Jap? It's not in there uh, in the prohibited list. And they said, well, I guess that's because we never thought about it. Nobody asked. So I said, well, I'm asking right now let that be on the <laughs> So they took it up at the next uh, Guild uh, Executive Committee meeting, and uh, they put the word Jap there as on the pres proscribed list. And not only that, they thought that was such a good idea that they volunteered to take a, bring it up at the National Guild Convention that was being held that, the, in autumn of that year in Portland. And uh, so they revised my original uh, proposal a little bit. No real substantive uh, change. And uh, they presented it with the backing of the uh, Santa and Poor's unit, and they passed the thing applying on a national basis. And that's what really did the trick. That, that piece of news got into practically every newspaper in the country. Really? Yeah. It, it was the first? First time any organization had to come out in open opposition to the use of the word Jap. Mm 